Welcome to Nitro Reels, today I am explaining a movie called Life After Beth. The film begins with a girl named Beth who has gone hiking alone. Then the scene shifts and we are shown Jack, who is the boyfriend of Beth. And he has come to Beth's house at her funeral, that is, Beth has died. He loved Beth so much that he didn't like anything after she left. He missed Beth all the time so Jack goes to her house to visit Beth's parents. Where he sees that the maid of that house, Perline is suddenly leaving from there. But Maury tries to stop her but Perline goes out from there. Maury then takes Jack inside and both begin to talk about Beth. Where Jack tells Maury that his relationship with Beth has not been good for the last few days. Then both start playing chess but Jack can't even pay attention to it. After that, when he is just about to go to his house, Beth's mother gives him a scarf of Beth. After which Jack comes to his house. Jack now, goes to Beth's house every day. And he starts spending time with her parents, but Jack's parents don't like it because he was thinking too much about Beth. One such day when he goes to visit Beth's parents, he hears some voices from inside the house. Jack then asks Maury and Jenny to open the door, but he gets no response. This makes Jack very upset and he peeks inside the house through a window. Where he sees Beth inside the house. Jack is surprised to see her there. And he speaks to open the door, but no one opens the door. Meanwhile, Jack's brother Kale comes there who is a security officer. Jack tells him that I saw Beth at home, she is still alive. But Kale doesn't believe him because he thinks that Jack is doing it. After all, he is unable to forget Beth. Kale then asks Maury, after which Maury says from the inside that everything is fine. Jack also asks Kale to check inside the house but he doesn't listen to anything. He asks him to leave, but Jack doesn't listen. And one day, he enters Beth's house sneakily because he wanted to find out what is happening in the house of Beth. At that time Maury sees Jack and asks him to leave. But Jack disobeys and goes inside to check. Where he sees that Jenny is trying to hide Beth in the closet. He does not understand that what the parents of Beth are doing to do with her. Seeing Beth, it seemed that she knew nothing about death. Jack asks Maury what's going on here, but Maury doesn't tell him anything. After that, there is an argument between them, and Jack angrily leaves from there. Because he thinks Beth wants to get away from him, that's why she pretended to die. Jack comes home and tells his parents that Beth is still alive, but his parents don't believe him either. The next day Jack goes to Beth's grave where he sees a big hole in the grave of Beth. It looked as if Beth came out by breaking the grave. Jack meets Maury to talk about it and then Maury tells Jack that when you left from here after playing chess, Beth came back home after some time. But I don't know how she survived. Jack also does not understand anything. That's when Jenny comes here and then the three of them start arguing. After which, Beth also comes here and she becomes happy to see Jack here. Then, to talk to Jack, she takes him with her. There Beth asks Jack that why you are behaving so strangely. But Jack is still afraid of Beth. He asks Beth, don't you remember what happened last week? On this, she says I don't know. After that Beth kisses Jack and says I love you so much. Then Jack also shares his feeling with her. And both are now happy with each other. Jack now wants to take Beth to hiking. But Beth's parents forbid her to go out during the day with Jack. Jack then takes Beth to the swimming pool, where they sit and talk. That's when Jack's eyes fall on Beth's injured leg which was looking like a zombie infection. On this, Jack asks her if you don't want to eat me. Meanwhile, Beth forgets that what she was talking about. Jack finds this very strange and then both spend a great with one another and Jack goes home. The next day when Jack is going to meet Beth, there comes a postman that gives Jack a lot of letters and goes from here. Jack had never seen this postman since his school hours, which is why it seems so strange to see him all of a sudden. After that Jack meets Maury and tells him that we should tell Beth about her death. But Maury forbids Jack to do so because he does not want to make Beth upset. That's when Beth arrives and asks Jack to go hiking. On this, Maury forbids Beth to go out during the day but Jack and Beth listen to no one and both go to a park where both get intimate with each other and spend a great time. All of a sudden, the scars begin to appear on Beth's face. After that, when they both reach home, Maury sees the scars on Beth's face. He then gets angry at Jack because Jack disobeyed him and took Beth out during the day. Then Jack says that we should tell Beth all that. On this, there starts an argument between Maury and Jack. And Maury asks Jack to get out of there, as well as to stay away from Beth. But he disobeys Maury and comes to meet Beth the next night secretly from Maury. He then takes her to the beach to surprise her. Where Jack starts singing a song by playing guitar for Beth but suddenly Beth's mood changes. She was irritated by Jack's song, and then she gets angry and starts breaking down things. But then she gets back to normal, Jack takes her to make her calm, but Beth gets angry again. And she picks up Jack and throws him away, but Jack somehow calms her down and puts her in his car. 
That's when the music starts playing on the radio outside, which makes Beth very relaxed. After that Jack takes her to her home where Beth asks him to be intimate with him. But Jack refuses because of her strange behavior after which Beth tries to get intimate with Jack forcefully. Then, Jack somehow gets out of there with an excuse. The next day Jack goes to a restaurant to meet Erica who is a childhood friend of Jack and was called there by Jack's mother so that Jack can move on in his life. When Jack starts talking to Erica, the restaurant owner starts behaving very strangely. When Jack sees this, he asks Erica, did you notice that the dead people are coming back to life again? But Erica doesn't understand what Jack is saying. After that, when Jack gets out of here, Beth comes in front of his car. As a result of which Jack's car runs over her. By seeing this, Jack quickly pulls her out of there. But even after running car over Beth, nothing happens to her. She starts talking. That's when Erica comes there and starts talking to Jack. So that, Beth comes to know that Jack is hanging out with another girl. Then Jack tries to make Beth understand that she is his childhood friend and he tells Erica that she is Beth. Hearing this, Erica also gets confused because Jack's mother told her that Beth has died. After that, an argument starts between them and now Beth also understands that Jack is trying to hide some from her. That's why she asks Jack to tell the whole story and then Jack takes her to her grave. Where he tells her that you were bitten by a snake while hiking. You died because of it. But then you came back to life again. Beth becomes very upset to hear this. Because a dead person can't become alive. Jack says to her that you are not what you used to be. You get aggressive again and again so I can't stay with you anymore. Because you are looking like a zombie to me. And she takes his car and goes home from there. After that when Jack returns home, he sees that his grandfather has also come back alive whom Kale wants to shoot but his parents prevent him from doing so. Because he doesn't even understand how the dead people became alive. Everyone is upset by these things. At the same time, the former owner of the house also come here alive. Because of which situations here have become worse. Jack asks his family to get out of here. Then he calls Maury and tells him that his grandfather and the former owner of the house have come back alive. Maury then calls Jack to speak, whereupon Maury asks Beth to tell Jack that she did not die. Jack then says to Maury that Perline has done it all and that she can fix it all. That's why we should go to her, but Maury doesn't listen to him. Jack then says to him that if you give me the address of Perline, I will talk to Beth. Maury also agrees. When Maury and Jack arrive home to talk to Beth, at that time Beth kills a man in front of them. Seeing this, Jack's condition worsens and he refuses to go to Beth to talk to her. Because Beth was now completely aggressive and was making destruction all around. Then Jack somehow manages to get out of there after taking Perline's address from Jenny. But now, Beth also comes with him and sits in the car, after which Jack has to take her with him. After arriving at Perline's address, Jack asks Beth to wait in the car and he goes to meet Perline. But Jack doesn't find Perline there. Jack is told by Perline's cousin that she's been out of here for a long time and that she has nothing to do with zombies. Here Jack comes to know that Maury tried to insult Perline that day. That's why Perline was gone from there. After which Jack comes to his car. But now Maury also comes here who takes Beth with him. Jack tries to stop Maury but Maury doesn't listen and hits Jack on his head and makes him unconscious. He then takes Beth with him. The next morning, when Jack's eyes open, he takes his car home. Where he sees a zombie in his house who sees Jack and runs away. After that Jack comes home and starts looking for his family. Just then, he sees some charred bodies in one place. Jack is sad because he thinks that now the zombies have killed his family. He then takes some of his essentials and arrives at Beth's house. He sees blood in Maury's car. After that Jack goes inside a house where he sees Beth and his mother who had tied Beth with microwave, feeding her hand by cutting it. Seeing this, Jack goes there and asks Maury about Jenny, then Jenny tells him that Beth has killed Maury. Jack then asks Jenny to get out from there and says that I will take care of Beth now. At first, Beth gets aggressive when she sees him, but now Jack says her to come for hiking with him. On this, Beth calms down, then Beth stands up above the microwave. Jack then leaves to go with her. Meanwhile, Kale comes there and he was just about to shoot Beth but Jack stops him from doing so. Jack then asks Kale that what happened to mom and dad? And then, Kale tells him that both are out of here safely. Then, Kale tells him that the bodies which you saw at home were zombie bodies whom I shot and killed. Kale then gives his pistol to Jack and asks him to shoot and kill Beth. Jack then takes Beth to hike, where he says to Beth that I love you so much. He then pulls out a pistol and shoots Beth, because of which Beth falls into a ditch with the microwave and she dies. But Jack was very sad because today he had to kill his love with his hand. Jack then goes to visit his family and becomes very happy to find them alive. Then Jack's parents say sorry to Jack because they didn't believe him. 
Jack then meets Erica, who was in shock after killing her grandfather. The next morning, Jack goes to Beth's and Maury's grave to give a funeral, from where he goes out to dinner with Erica who has now become his new girlfriend. And with that movie ends here.